So we're gonna start. This is breaking me. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, wishing wing Washita. You can do five. Her name is just Washita. She, she just like put that in. I know. I know. Hello, Varsha, mm. can you hear me? Okay. I don't think she can hear you. I know. That's why I'm clicking this button. Now, um... Hey, this is like the same question in the last one, but it's kind of different. Okay, so I guess it's my turn. So it says David is... It uses the known fact... Six times seven equals forty-two to help him calculate seventeen. The table shows some un, some known facts and some calculations. So known fact. And six times. You said six times seventeen. It's six times fourteen. I said six times fourteen, didn't I? Okay. The, um, I meant six times fourteen. Okay, now it says, uh, wish. Okay, now it says three thirty-four times five equals one one seventy. Now it says thirty-four times six. What does it equal? It equals two hundred and four. Um, and then B, 48 times 4 equals 192, and then it says 48 times 8. So that, the answer for that would be, let's see. So, uh, let's wait for three seconds. Um, let me calculate. Uh... See, so, yeah. uh, okay, okay, 48 times 8, okay, I got the answer, 304, 384, I meant, okay, I agree, okay, and for C, it would be, so, 40, uh, 54 times 6 equals 300, 24 and then 54 times 3 is equal to so 15 wait no i meant oh oh my gosh 162 and then for d it's 23 times 6 which is equal to 138 and then 23 times 7 which is equal to 161 Okay, so six will be done by Anjali Keshav. By the way, his name is Nishal because, like... Yeah, that's my mom's name. Oh. Discuss with your partner the most efficient way to work out the following calculations. Then work out the correct answer and choose a different method to check if your answer is correct. Um, should I just say the answer? Yeah, just say the answer. Okay, so. What was the answer? Six hundred, no. Six hundred A is six hundred twenty four. Mm -hmm. Six hundred ninety four I of okay, um since it said um like choose a way, what way did you choose? Uh, so which way would you choose to you know use it? The standard algorithm. Standard okay. algorithm. Okay, you can use that, but what I would use I would use 
So I would use that patterning method. Do you guys remember the patterning method where like yeah, that one's a distributive property thingy. Yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. So yeah. what I would do is eight times seventy. I would split seventy and um and eight in half. I mean seventy eight in half. Like cut seventy eight, and I'll get seventy and eight, and I'll do eight times seventy. Uh, but instead of doing eight times seventy, I'll do eight times seven, which would equal fifty six. And then since it's actually seventy, not seven, I would add a zero to the fifty six, and it would be five hundred and sixty. And then I do eight times eight, which is sixty eight. 64, and then um, 560 times, uh, plus 64 is 624. So the answer would be yeah, like that. That is actually easy, but both ways are easy. Yeah, they both they both get the same answer, so it just matters yeah. if you get the same answer and if it works for everyone. Yeah, but me. Wait, does Nisha have to do the uh, B, T, and D? Uh, yeah, because like it says, then work out the correct answer and choose a different method to answer to check your answer is correct. Yeah, that's for the same question. But yeah, Nisha, you can do. So you can use any form you want. Yeah, any form you want. Yeah. The next answer is three hundred thirty. Okay. What method? Three hundred and thirty. Wait a minute. Yeah, I would agree. Yeah. The next after that. Yeah, I is, agree too. After that, it's three hundred. It's three hundred and eighty. For for C. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Three hundred and eighty. I agree. And then it's one. And D is one hundred eighty nine. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, uh, yeah, I agree. So we'll move on to the next page. Oh, yeah, um, what, did, what method did you use for B? For B, I use the distributive The property. distributive property method? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's actually a good method to use. Yeah? Okay, what did you use? If you're kind of stuck at the uh, standard method, you can use the distributive. Yeah, I also, also on C and D, I also use the distributive. Oh, okay. Um, in my, like, in my opinion, I would say the, like, the standard way is kind of slow. The well, standard way is kind of slow if you have, like, a lot of numbers. Like, if you have thousands and a thousand. Like, if you have a thousand place number and a thousand place number, it'll kind of take long to, you know, solve it. It, it would probably long. give okay. you, like, the most, it will probably give you a more accurate answer than the distributed property. Okay, um, who will do Let's Investigate? Uh, Avi, Tiaji, you can do Let's Investigate. Yeah, Avi can do it. Yeah, Avi can do it. remainder of one when it was developed. Okay, um, I we can't or, hear you. Okay, um, be sure you can do Let's Investigate. Let's Investigate? Yeah, Let's Investigate. Yeah, Let's Investigate. Hey, that's what I'm doing. Oh. What do you do? Okay, so it says each of these numbers give a reminder of one when it's divided by four. Find numbers that have a reminder of two when they're divided by four. What do you notice about the numbers? I think I know what to do. What? I think I know what to do. Okay, what what dare you? 
So if we do 17 divided by 4, we are going to get a remainder of um remainder of 1. So if we add if we add a 1 to 17, we'll get a remainder of 2. Hmm. This um 18 divided by 4 is um yeah, four times four is sixteen, right? Yeah. And there's a remainder of two. Yeah, we could do that for all of them. Yes, that is. Which would give us a remainder of two. That is exactly what I would. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm talking to you, Rishab. Okay. Now, um. You're talking to Rishab. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, John V, you can do number one. Okay. Um, so do I do like the um copy and complete the remainder chart for twenty four? Yeah. yeah. That okay. So twenty four divided by three. The remainder would be zero. Zero. Okay. So and then four is zero. Slow down. Five for five, it's four. Four six, it's zero. For seven, it is three. Mm -hmm. For eight, it is zero. For nine, it is uh, uh, it's six. Yeah. For okay. Ten, it is four. I um agree. Number two. So do I. Okay, so number two will be done by Lochan. Okay. Number two is Darina divided 72 by 4 using the method of halving and then halving again. Okay. <laughs> 74, I mean 72 divided by 4 is 18. What's this method to calculate? Okay. Seventy two. Okay. So for seventy four divided by two, uh, you should split up uh seventy and six. What are you doing? It's 76 divided by 4. For A. Oh, you're doing let's investigate. Um, you can do 2, number 2. Yeah, I'm doing number 2, A. Okay. A is 76 divided by 4. Yeah, 76 divided by 4. So we split up 70 and 6. Mm -hmm. And then we do uh uh seven times six is forty two and then add their zero that is four twenty and six um, times four is twenty four uh, and four twenty plus twenty four is four forty four. Okay, but look so I disagree. Because you're supposed to like split the seventy six up, which, and then you get thirty eight, and then you split that up again, and you get eight to uh, nineteen. So the answer is nineteen. Okay. Yeah, you can do B the exact same way. Okay, so sixty eight divided by four. Uh, 
Okay, 34, we divide that into 34. And let's see. So the answer is. So the answer is 16. No, I disagree. It's 17 actually, because if you split 58, you get 34, and if you split 34, you get 17. Okay. Yeah, so the answer should be 17. <laughs> So next page it is. Okay, um, Neil, you can do three. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yep. Okay. So three. Yeah. Pablo divided seventy-two by four using a number line. Eight lots, 72, 10 lots of four, which equals 32, and then eight lots of four, which equals zero. Wait, hold on a second. Okay. Use this, me use this method to calculate. Okay. Um. Wait, I don't really get that method. Can I just do it like the way I do it? Can I just tell the answer? Yeah. I don't really get that message. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just tell it. Let, let me calculate that. My answer would be 19. Okay, so let's check. So, so 5 divided by 9, that would be 1. And then it's 45, which would be 9. I agree. So, and should I do B? Yeah, should I, you should do B. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait, let me calculate. The answer would be 18. I agree. Because 3 divisible by 5 by 1, and then we have a 2, and then that's a 24. And then 24, uh, 24 will be divisible by um, 3. Yeah, 24 divided by 3 would equal 8. So, yeah. Yeah. So, no wonder. Okay. Question 5. Okay, um, Sanjana, you can do A, B, C, and D. For question five? Yeah, question five. Complete these calculations using the most efficient method. Um, can I calculate these, um, like, my own way? Because I don't understand what efficient means. Yeah, you can do it with your own way. Okay, 98 divided by 7 equals...
14. Uh, so 30. 20. Okay, Sam. Are you doing 7? I mean, oh yes, 98 divided by 7. Okay. Yeah. B, right. 64 divided by 9 equals 7 remainder 1. Um, yeah, I agree. 74 divided by 8 equals 9 remainder 2. Yeah, yeah. And D is... Is fourteen. I um three. Yeah. Because sixteen times four. Yeah. So because so if you do the uh, six is uh, six can be divided with eight one time, and then you get a two, then you get a twenty-four, and then six. Well, could be divisible by twenty-four by four. So also, 14. also sixteen times four equals eighty-four. Yeah, sixteen times four. And seventeen times four equals ninety-eight. Fourteen. Yeah, four equals nine. So we move on. No, oh, no, not on that page. Okay, uh, six will be done by. Sweden. Okay. The one below 15 will be, um, 60. This one? This one right? No, the one below, um, the one below. Not that one. That, right? No, no, the one oh, in the this, middle, middle. This, yeah. yeah, that one, yeah. Yeah. That would be, um, 60. I mean, not 60, 75. Um, okay, how did you get 75? Because 15 times 5 is 75. Uh, 15 times 5 is 75. So why did you do 5 times? Because if we had our number, Wait, why we did had you do 70. Times? Wait, why did you do because times that you were supposed to divide? Because if we have 75 in the spot um, where your cursor is, um, if we had 75 and we divided 75 divided by 5, we'd get 15. I disagree. I agree with Neil. The answer would be 3 because um, it says divide with 5, not multiply. Yeah, because it says copy and yeah. complete the division table. So I think you're supposed to divide. And yeah, well, uh, so I, I agree with you, with Vic. I think the answer would be 3. Um, why would you multiply? Um, let's, yeah, why would you multiply? Uh, just let Sweden give the, you know, explanation of yeah. why you multiply. I think I would, you would multiply because on the spot where you were pointing at, it says um, you have to divide to get the answer of 15. That's what I thought. So if we divide this, the, the divided by, if you use divided by 5 and divide it by 75, we would get 15. Okay. No, that's not the, what they were trying to say. They were try, just trying to say, like, 15 divided by 5, like that. That's what? not... Uh -huh. yeah. I have yeah. yeah. It's fine. Everybody gets, you know, mistakes. It's fine. Yeah, this is weird. How about um, you do the outside ones first? Okay. So the outside one would be which one? Uh, the outside one would be um would it be uh would it be seventy five for the one above fifteen? Okay, um how did you Yeah, I think it would be seventy five. And how so I multiplied, I multiplied. 75 divided by 5 would equal 15. 15, yeah. Yeah. I, so I think, yeah, the answer should be 75. 
What about this one? This one would be uh. Let me let me think one minute. Four hundred twenty-five. What? Twenty-five. Would it be four? Four hundred twenty-five. And how did you get that? I multiplied oh. five um times eighty-five. Uh, what did? It? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah, for the outside ones, I think you're supposed to multiply. Yeah, for the inside yeah. ones, you're supposed to divide. Yeah. Yeah. So. The one below twelve would be uh so would it be um sixty? Would it be sixty? E no. It would be two remainder two. Oh yeah, yeah. Because you're Yeah, because five times two is ten yeah. and you get a remainder of two. So you and the one below nine would be five remainder four. Yep, one remainder four. Yeah, I mean one remainder four. Yeah, one remainder yeah. four. Um, the one below fifteen would be uh three. Yep. Wait, which one did you say below uh five would be four? Um, the, I said below five would be um. The one below nine, it would be one remainder four. Yeah, yeah. one remainder four. I agree. Okay, you can also do the. Second. I thought I thought you said four remainder one. That's why you know, but yeah, I agree with one remainder four. Okay, you can do the second wheel too. Okay, so that one would be. You would you would have to do thirty six times three, mm. which is. Okay, guys. Is it one hundred twenty-eight? Guys, I think you have to div divide for the. I mean, multiply. Oh my gosh! You have to uh, divide for the. I mean, I mean, it's one hundred eight. What? But the answer for the one next to um thirty-six. Yeah, I agree. One hundred eight because two times three equals ninety. So that's a ninety because that's not a three. It's a thirty, so it's a thirty times. Yeah, it's ninety. And then, and then ninety. Um, and then there's a three times a six, which is eighteen. And then ninety plus eighteen. Wait, what? That's right. Ninety plus eighteen is a hundred. Eighteen is hundred eight. Yeah, hundred eight. So um, you can do next one. Is the one um um after thirty six?